million brothers and sisters for coming to this rally today. Unite here. Transit Workers Union 100. ATU. National Nurses United. New York State Nurses Association. The demands on 
the government include improved patient care in the public hospitals, hiring more nurses, fully in, uh, fund nurses' pensions, and actually pay their wages? They've been working without pay what? for quite some time. I know. No. In Ireland, they've issued a public press statement focused on stopping austerity and linking it to today's global action in Ireland. In the Philippines, the Alliance of Healthcare Workers, together with allied health organizations, has a sizable map this morning, a mass action in the front of the WHO, the World Health Organization, at the Pacific Regional Headquarters in Manila to demand health care for all. And in South Africa, DENOSA has launched a petition drive against austerity measures and in support of the Robin Hood tax. They will petition, continue the petition campaign throughout the rest of the year. And once they have sufficient numbers of signatures on the petition, will convey it to President Zuma. In addition, DENOSA and more nurses marched with allies to the office of the Ministry of Health in the Eastern Cape province last week demanding solutions to the chronic health problems facing the province. And finally, in South Korea on September 12th, more than a thousand nurses and allies organized by KHMU marched on the Korean National Assembly in Seoul to demand an end to austerity and save the Jinju Medical Center and pass the Robin Hood tax. So let's hear it for nurses, allies around the world. Please join me now in welcoming the Managing Director of Health Gap, an extraordinary activist fighting to end global HIV AIDS with the Robin Hood tax, Jennifer Flynn. Thank you. which is just behind me. Bus to Philly leaving now, now don't get left behind because we can't afford to send you back on the train. We can't afford to send you back on the train until we win a Robin Hood tax. My name is Jennifer Flynn and I'm the Managing Director of Health Gap. It's an international AIDS activist organization. Thank you so much for joining us here to fight for a Robin Hood tax. My organization cares deeply about this because the lives of 14 million people around the world actually depend on it. We need the revenue to be able to end the AIDS epidemic, which we can do in the next 30 years. The Robin Hood tax campaign is supported by more than 160 labor, healthcare, religious, small business, women's, students, environmental, and the list is growing, organizations across the country. Today, September 17th, we're marking the second anniversary of Occupy Wall Street. I want, I want to specifically thank anybody who participated in the Occupy Wall Street movement, not only for coming out here today to support the Robin Hood tax, but also for their undeniable role in making the Robin Hood tax a serious policy idea for revenue creation in this country and for waking us up to the fact that we do not have to stand for draconian budget cuts, that we can actually do something about it. and unnecessary profits of Wall Street and the 1% collect in this country while also exposing the inhumane effects this has had on the 99%. Now, one thing I want to say is no matter what the big banks and their public relations cronies say, the Robin Hood tax is inevitable in the United States. 11 countries in the Eurozone have just passed, have just agreed to implement a Robin Hood tax. And when that happens, all the major financial institutions in the United States will be taxed. And that money will go to the countries that had the guts to actually pass a tax. And that country will go to fill their austerity budgets. But we don't have one yet in the United States. And that's what we're here to demand. Until we pass a Robin Hood tax to literally 
us in every single way. We can't afford simple things anymore. But some of us, and I'm going to invite all the people at the boulders, some of us more than others. I'm inviting all the people who carry the boulder up onto the stage. By the way, welcome to the world that we want. Wall Street's back and he's got a burden for you here. What is this burden? This burden, this burden is transit. This is uh, the end of public transit. So Robin Hood's going to come and smash. And Robin Hood's going to smash Wall Street for free. Yeah. <laughs>